This is the story of best mate in the 2004 Cheltenham Gold Cup as he etched his name into sporting folklore with a third straight win in Jump Racing's Blue Ribbon event. Ridden by regular pilot Jim Colutti, he was sent off the 8-11 favourite for the three and a quarter mile event and history would await for Henrietta Knight, Terry Biddlecombe and Jim Lewis. Enjoy the full race replay with commentary from Simon Holt and enjoy some very special scenes. Race the relish. Simon Holt to pull. And away they go then for the 2004 Tote Sport Cheltenham Gold Cup. And first gold is the first to go on from Harbour Pilot in the red jacket and Irish Azar on the outside. Keen leader follows these as they cross the first fence. Best mate landing in about fifth place on the outside of Sir Rembrandt. And then the real bandit followed next by Alexander Banquet, Truckers Tavern, and Before Salmon rested at the rear of the field. Over the second, and it was first goal that led to Harbour Pilot as they passed the packed enclosures here at a feverish Presbury Park with two circuits of the course in front of them. They're quite well strung out already, and it's Thierry Dumain on first goal that's making the running to Harbour Pilot in second place. In third is Irish Hazar. And then a gap of about three or four lengths to Keen Leader, another two or three to Best Mate on the inside. The Real Bandit and Sir Rembrandt and then Truckers Tab and Alexander Banquet and B47. B47 approaching the fence at which he departed last year. He's safely over this time. Heading now towards the water jump. And in close-up, first gold in the headgear. Harbour Pilot, a half-length down, clearing the water. Irish Azar was over in the next position from Keen Leader. Best mate going right along the inside from the real bandit. As now they approach a, a jumping test. This is an open ditch. First gold is the first to land there. Back in the field, Sir Rembrandt, Truckers Tavern, B4 Salmon, and Alexander Banquet is at the back. Heading towards the next now. They jump 22 in all. And first gold is safely over that one. That was the sixth. They now approach a left-hand turn going slightly uphill. And it's first goal by three or four lengths to Harbour Pilot. Irish Azar and Mick Fitzgerald in third place as they clear this next one. An open ditch, best mate, very close there with Keen Leader just preceding him. Irish Azar just drops back to fifth and a shake of the reins from Mick Fitzgerald. The real bandit and then a gap to Truckers Tavern and Sir Rembrandt and B4 Salmon and Alexander Banquet. Thierry Dumen really asked for a big jump from first goal and the French horse delivered in tremendous style as they reach the top of the hill, swinging left-handed. The next fence is a tricky one. It's the fence where the real bandit fell in an earlier race here this season. It's slightly on the descent, a drop on the landing side, and first goal takes it in front. From Harbour Pilot in second place, Irish Azar, then Keen Leader, followed by Best Mate in fifth place as they begin the run downhill towards another plane fence. The real bandit is behind these, and then Sir Rembrandt, Truckers Tavern, B47, and Alexander Banquet, a pretty useful horse, is completely tailed off at this relatively early stage. First goal may well be setting a very strong pace here as they run towards the turn. Rain softened ground as well. It's first goal. Approaching the turn in then as they return to their starting point at the end of the first circuit. Best mate having gone off the 11-8 to on favourite to win his third Cheltenham Gold Cup. Heading towards the next and first goal by four lengths to Harbour Pilot drawing towards it. Irish Hazar is over next. First goal is jumping for fun in the lead. Best mate along the inside. Then Keen leader. They're bunching up a little bit behind the front pair. The real bandit is patiently ridden by Tony McCoy as they jump the next first goal again really stood off it there an exhibition round from him so far B4 Salmon is ridden very quietly towards the back by Timmy Murphy he'll be looking to make ground on this final circuit Truckers Tavern just behind him Sir Rembrandt just ahead of him and Alexander Banquet continues at the rear so they swing into the back straight once again then and head for the next fence the first down the back it's the 13th down the hill and no real mistakes so far first gold leads the way to Harbour Pilot best mate on the inside and then Irish Hazar with Keen Leader wider out as they take this plane fence the real bandit then Sir, Sir Rembrandt Irish Hazar just has to be niggled along again They're hitting another flat spot as B4 Salmon moves up and Irish Hazar sharp reminders and losing ground as Truckers Tavern moves up on his outside during the water jump and Alexander Banquet continuing about 25 lengths behind them back towards this open ditch again and it's first goal that draws to it jumps it very cleanly once more from Harbour Pilot. Best mate goes up into third. Irish Azar has been pulled up.
up before that ditch, very disappointing. Then on the outside, Sir Rembrandt improving with Keen Leader, and then B4 Salmon behind these, the real bandit, as now they run left-handed towards the next open ditch. They've got six fences left to jump from here, and it's first gold by four lengths to Harbour Pilot. Best mate seems well poised on the inside. Harbour Pilot just jumping slightly across him there. So Rembrandt has improved in the red and yellow jacket. Goes third now. Out wide is Keen Leader, then the real bandit, and B4 Salmon. This is another plain fence, first gold. Uh, there a mistake by Sir Rembrandt on the outside in uh, a disputing second place of Harbour Pilot. Best mate in fourth under Jim Cullity. He's got about six lengths to make up on the French horse who continues to lead as they return to this tricky fence. It's four out and it's first gold that comes in to take it. This time he didn't take it quite so well. Harbour Pilot in second. Best mate and Sir Rembrandt on their heels as they start down the hill with three fences left to jump. It's first gold. Best mate on the right there. If with every chance, Harbour Pilot, Sir Rembrandt out wider. Here's three out. First gold from Best Mate up the inner. Then Harbour Pilot, Sir Rembrandt there clear of B4 Salmon and the real bandit. They race towards the final turn. First gold and beef, beef, Best Mate being held in there by Harbour Pilot. Didn't get a good run as they race for the turn. Sir Rembrandt takes off out wide. They've got two fences left to jump. First gold is joined by Harbour Pilot. Best Mate has got to get out of trouble and now pulls wide at the front pair. Then Sir Rembrandt wider out. B4 Salmon is fifth. At the second half, best mate, great jump, and there he takes it up. And 38 years on, now best mate has his big chance to emulate Arkell, heading down to the last. His best mate from Harbour Pilot, best mate a half length to Harbour Pilot. So Rembrandt is back in third. Best mate, he's a length ahead of Harbour Pilot, starting up the hill. It's familiar territory. Best mate from Harbour Pilot, Sir Rembrandt on the outside. Can he hang on? He's clinging on. Seen Henrietta and Terry describe the feeling from the back of the horse. To be honest, we walked the track beforehand and we said the only place to be is down the inner. Because down the middle is very cut up for the last race here. It was last year, but there was no grass in it. So it was much better on the inner. So I got to take the gamble. And at times I wasn't getting the best to run, but what we lose by doing that, we gain in the fact we're on the best of the ground, you know. There was no quarter given turning into home straight. No, exactly, like, it's a goal. That's what everybody's saying it's a steering job. It's a goal cup, there is no quarter given, you know. How hard was that? Well, he's battled, he's battled on really well. I was struggling, like. This is amazing, isn't it? There you go. Enjoy the moment, well done. Live racing now on racingtv.com.